but 36,000 for a practice. Sweet God. And they were treated to one hell of a sight. Let me get this picture up. I mean, look, you know where I stood on the, um, on the red helmet situation. I've been dying to see it. I really wanted it. And then when you saw the NFL releasing all of the different teams that would have an alternate helmet this year, I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for them to announce the bills just to come and find out that they would not be doing it this year. But I love this situation, not only because Josh Allen walks out on the field and gives us what we were wanting, right? But it shows you that Josh Allen simply knows how to read a room. Josh Allen is a man of the people. Now, you might say, oh, you're reading into this a little bit too much. I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think Aaron Rodgers quite knows how to read a room. If he knew how to read a room – a month before practice, he's not going to go on, a, or a month before the regular season, rather, he's not going to go on a podcast and talk about how he was tripping on liquidated shrooms for a week in, a, in a, uh, another country. I mean, just imagine, you know, ima- I mean, maybe I, I, don't have any, I don't have any issues with that either, by the way. I'm all for it. You know, you want to take some shrooms, you want to go, you want to go on a trip that you want to go on a $5 vacation, as I like to call it, $10 vacation. I'm all for it. But I don't know if I want my franchise quarterback, even if he does choose to partake of that, hey, it's the offseason. I'm no stick in the mud. Have a good time. I don't know if I want him going on a podcast, sharing his spiritual journey to the world, uh, especially if you're Aaron Rodgers, after you just lost to Jimmy Garoppolo at home in, in the playoffs. I mean, I don't know. If I'm a Packers fan, I'd be like, dude, you know, y- y- you just lost to Jimmy G at home. We haven't been able to win a playoff, you know, a meaningful playoff game in a very long time. You have constantly been putting us through the ringer here the last two years in the offseason. We know that it's coming to an end. Your tenure in Green Bay. Maybe want to lean up, uh, lay back on the whole tripping on shrooms in the offseason uh, verbiage. I don't know. He just that to me right there. You don't know how to read a room. You're you're a franchise guy. You're you're the, you're the you're the literally the face of Wisconsin. And like I said, I got no problems doing stuff like that. But like my franchise quarterback. Now I know this is a different scale. We're not talking about downing ayahuasca here. But Josh Allen, this just right here, he goes to show me that the guy knows how to read a damn room. And I always thought Josh Allen really laid back on the social media, and to a degree, I think he does. Josh Allen does not seem to be a big social media guy, but. He had to have been looking at social media enough to understand that the Bills fans really wanted to see him in a red helmet. And I think as soon as he knew it wasn't going to happen, he took it into his own hands to be able to show Bills Mafia what it would look like in person. And here it is. Just gorgeous. I mean, now let me let me preface the, the, the look here for a second. The blue stripes down the middle are egregious. It's horrendous. That should be white with maybe a blue stripe down the middle. The blue on the side, I hate it. And also the combo with the red jersey. I would never want that in a real-life setting. Of course, he's wearing the red jersey because all quarterbacks wear the red jersey. But I really do think with that look with the blue helmet, I think you'd be nuts to say that that wouldn't be sweet in a game. But anyhow, when he walked out of the, out of the tunnel onto the field for a scrimmage, a scrimmage, in front of 36K, that is just insane to say. I mean, like I told you last week, when he walked over to sign autographs, people were freaking the hell out. I mean, I, I've never really seen anything like it in person. We're talking about turning that dial up to 11 when he walks out of the tunnel with this red helmet on. I mean, that place was going bonkers. Going absolutely ape shit because the guy's got a red helmet on. I mean, that is what I'm talking about. That is Bill's Mafia in a nutshell. Right there. And I think it also is Josh Allen in a nutshell. He's a badass warrior on the field, right? No, like no bullshit type guy on the field. But he also knows how to read a room and have fun, right? He did the golf thing on the offseason. We've seen him slam some beers at Sabres games and on like like Twitch or whatever he was doing, playing online or whatever. This to me was a very, it was like a catalyst moment though of realizing that. And I know that this is one of those things that people can say, like, oh, yeah, there, it really doesn't mean anything. I think it does. You know, you got the things with like with Kyler Murray, for instance. Like, you don't, see, I don't think you'd ever, you know, you'd never see uh, the Bills management having to put in the contract for Josh Allen to study. It wouldn't even be a thought. 
At the same time, he also is able to encapsulate the fan base in a way that many players throughout all of sports are unable to do. And this is just a perfect example. I love it. And the fact that there were that many people there and the fact that people just lost their mind was amazing. And I think it also goes to show you to the people who uh, are the Red Helmet haters, get on board because there's clearly a million people who love it. I mean, that, that picture and video of him went absolutely through the moon viral. So I understand if you don't like it, but you might need to, you might need to get with the times here, folks, because I think it's definitely going to happen. And there are people, tons of people who just love it. And by the way, I mean, we've seen the edits of him in it and he looks fantastic. Now, granted, Josh Allen could probably walk out on the field with a 1920s leather helmet and still pull it off. Right. But with the red helmet on, it looks mint and you know it, you know it. <laughs> 